When you first enter Chateau Ridge, you come through this long driveway that leads up to the house. And there's a bit of mystery because you don't see the house when you enter. And then you see apple trees in a row and two sunken love gardens at the front. And then when you enter this Normandy Chateau, you go through room by room that sort of transports you. It's been a great privilege to live here. Vince was really interested in telling a story. So when you go into the English room, it's all about English 18th century. And when you go into the living room, it's Italian Renaissance. So as you walk throughout the house, each room has a story, but they weave perfectly together. Vince was an extraordinary designer and a visionary. He loved interior design and he loved architecture. Vince grew up very poor on the Lower East Side. He became a shoe designer, but first started to work as a shoe clerk in a shoe store. He eventually became the CEO and founder of Nine West, and then he started Vince Camuto many years later. The passion that he had for business, for his family, for his friends, for creating beautiful products, beautiful shoes, translated to creating an incredible collection and a beautiful house. How did Vince go about that sort of extraordinary process of transforming what was essentially an uninhabitable French chateau to now this sort of incredible masterpiece that we're in today? When Vince bought the house in the 80s, he sought the help of interior designer Tony Ingrau, and the two of them embarked on this renovation. They traveled to Paris and to Florence and London looking for antiques and paintings together and they scoured the auction houses for the best and the finest things that they could find. They had sort of kindred spirits. Do you think these trips were formative in terms of Vince's knowledge of, of architecture? I think it exposed him to beautiful furnishings, all the incredible Villa Borghese, beautiful hotels in Italy. His parents were both Italian, and Italian heritage was very important to Vince. He created this house as a true home for what he thought was the best of where his family had come from. If we look up into the ceiling, the constellation of the stars shows Vince's birthday in the 16th century. Vince loved details that could seem small, but gave a lot of character to this house. How the marble should be finished, and he would get into every detail on every surface in the house. There's this beautiful coming together of originally sort of a French chateau design, but then you have this incredible Italian warmth to some of the interiors. I think that's the other extraordinary achievement of this house. Vince had the grand vision. More is more for him. So I do think that it was destined for him to do the greatest he could possibly do. Vince once said, some people dream things will happen. Some people want things to happen. But some people make things happen. And that was Vince.